But one of the big one of the big policies that uh, Stitt and the Republicans and OCP are pushing this uh, session is vouchers. Um, so they are going hard in the paint for this. And for those that don't know what this is, um, this is uh, basically public tax dollars going to private schools. Um, you know, they'll bill it as something called school choice. Uh, this is just a buzzword to try and convince uh, parents who otherwise aren't going to benefit from this to support it. Um, but yeah, it's just a giveaway to rich people. Um, there's no two ways about it. Uh, it, a, a version of this bill has passed the Senate. The House is still claiming they aren't going to hear it, but they are doing everything they can um, to push this narrative. And so Stitt is leading the charge. Uh, this was an interesting exchange. Uh, Representative Monroe Nichols. So Chris Brewster runs a charter school, um, which is a public school, but like, you know, it's kind of the light version of vouchers it, it's like the illusion of choice like if you're able to drive your kid to that school if you're able to navigate their rules and application process then you get school choice but they're not a traditional public school in the sense that they take all kids um they have a way of getting kids out if they need to um so anyway it, you know it's it's to me it's like vouchers light but still more like a traditional public school than like a, an actual private school but um anyway i mean Representative Nichols frames it pretty well. Like, this is a public policy and an eth um, So he says it's not an ethical question. I kind of think it is. But a public policy question. Uh, and, and this is what, like, they're trying to do. And definitely what Stitt's trying to do is, like, divide families against each other. Is, like, take away this, like, even though it's in the Oklahoma Constitution that says, like, that we have to provide a common public education for everyone. They're trying to get it into, like, no, this group gets this education, that group gets that education, and really divide... Um, people against each other and ultimately who loses is um the children yeah the children and and especially low-income folks who can't close those gaps or or kids who are um you know have who need extra and alternative services um so instead of trying to make our services better to meet kids where they're at and meet their needs these guys are trying to divide all of us against each other so that we can i don't know further segregate our communities around basis of race and class and other things. So, I, I don't know. Thoughts? If you want to go to a private school, pay that with your own money, and that really should be about that. I mean, that literally, that's it. Like, as it stands, kids in public schools are truly not getting the best education in Oklahoma. There's, like, literally no ethical, moral justification you can make to taking more, like, money from those children, so. Well. And then there's this. And then there's this, yeah. <laughs> and then, so, so, like, there's the nuanced argument of, like, liberals, kind of Nichols' argument, and certainly uh, Brewster's argument. But then there is uh, Carly Atchison, who is, of course, a uh, spokesperson for state, who... Um, it's just an internet troll for all intents and purposes, but, you know, a, a teacher or an educator makes an argument, uh, choosing tax dollars to go to public education, not private schools, which is what we agreed on a long time ago for our tax dollars to support. If a parent wants to homeschool or send their ch child to private school, that is their choice. I support it. Doesn't mean I need to pay for it. And Carly argues, stop being poor because, you know, she's trying to frame it as, like, it's this sort of um, elitist argument to say, like, you know, vouchers, you know, vouchers in private school for me, but not for thee. But, of course, who does she think goes to private school? Like, and it, the other argument, the vouchers, that they, that they never tell you that the Chris Brewsters and all these school choice advocates will lie about is, is that these vouchers often cover, like, a not all that much money. They're, like three, four, five, six thousand dollars. It's like, you know, to go to Cassidy for high school or or Bishop McGinnis or Heritage Hall or um, you know whatever the big ones in Tulsa are that just flew out of my head. They're twenty grand a year. Like you are not going there if you are poor on a shitty Oklahoma voucher. The only place you're going is in equally underfunded, under resourced <laughs> private school. Like and if that's what you want to do with it, I mean, I guess. But, you know, I, I just think we're taking people out of one 
you know, out of the pot and into the fire sort of thing. Like, it's not it's not going to actually make education better. It's going to hide the problem. One time in history where private vouchers have made things better. Can't. I'll wait. Yeah, no. Right. I mean, there's... Kevin, stay at Hold your breath, please. Yeah. Do. <laughs> so, I mean, instead of arguing that we should equalize school funding, that we should support struggling school districts or low-income kids or whatever it's like their 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 goal is always to pit us against each other more and like my thing is is even coming from like a upper middle whatever class family you want to say like i hate school choice like i hate the options of like i hate having to like micromanage my kids education like it's just it's a it's exhausting you never know if you're making the right choice like and I, I feel like there's a lot of parents in that realm. Like, we just want better public schools. Like, just fund the schools we have and increase their offerings. Like, that's what we want. Um, I don't know. I find it awful to have to do this, like, trying to figure out which school is perfectly ideal for whatever. I just... No offense, Nick, but that just came from a white man in a sweater with a collar on it. Like, if it doesn't get more real than that, <laughs> like, cut it out, y'all. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you can send your kids to really crappy, very religious schools with this money. And that and that and that's, like, the dirty secret they don't tell you is, is, like, nobody tracks what these, like, tiny private schools, like, what the quality of education is coming out of them. I mean, it's same with charter schools, to be honest. Like, I've talked to plenty. I mean, I've sent a kid to a charter school. Like, I've talked to plenty of people who've gone to charter schools. Like, in many cases, they're not actually that much better. Like, they just kick out all the bad kids and claim they're better. Like, it, it, you know, anyway. The only, like, exception to that rule would be, like, Dove Science Academy. But then again, that's, like, a school ran by not American people. They're Turks. So it's just, like... <laughs> well and, and, and <laughs> like, i mean even folks who've gone there i mean it's it's not you know like i went there i learned a lot of things you learned? <laughs> See, I that, that's they the didn't only reason why it, i yeah. said that like they i mean their curriculum is like so much better than oklahoma's and you get to learn foreign language i learned how to speak turkish in fourth grade bro like oh, that's kind of cool yeah they take it anyway <laughs> anyway <laughs> But my deal is we can, like, bring that to all schools. I mean, like, there's no reason that we have to create, like, special siloed schools that do that. Like, public schools can do all of this stuff. Like they Would be able to do all of this stuff yeah. if we fully fucking funded them. Yeah, exactly. And I, well, I think every kid should get an opportunity. Go ahead, Taz. Sorry. Here's the thing. I mean, it just simply, Matt, like, the fact that it was like this, I mean... Private education has to be able to meet... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> hate to be that guy, but I don't hate to be that guy. Uh, you should also have regulations on private schools as well. Sorry, I said it, but I said it. Um, and also, on top of which, like they have to not only be able to meet state standards, but they also have to be able to meet better standards than that. Because and and you know what? It's like the same thing that people on our side who aren't in the business world say: businesses will figure it out. Otherwise, don't start a business. <laughs> Well, and, and too, I mean, you know, like all these vouchers, like, you know, Carly can put up this stupid meme, stop being poor, but like, should they, should they also stop being gay? Should they stop being right. black? Should they stop being, because like, we know these schools discriminate, you know, like they're not culturally competent. They're not LGBTQ friendly. They're not, you know, so it's like, are we going to stop, you know, so it's like, should we stop all those other things too? Like, and, and, of course, they don't want to have that conversation because then it's, like, big government and whatever else. I mean, they, anyway, it, they're just – the whole argument's totally dishonest. They just want to defund private education – or public education and privatize it for profit. It's really gross, and these people need to just fuck off. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.